All right, you are welcome. I want to continue from the what we stopped last time on parametric tests. I mean, rather, non parametric tests. We want to look at a two way ANOVA of non parametric tests. Last time we have looked at a two way ANOVA based on parametric tests, but now we want to look at it using non parametric tests. So we are, using, we are looking at a aligned rank transform. ART. So this is this, this particular uh, test we allow us to do two-way ANOVA for non-parametric tests. Of course, it uses the same uh, data set, uh, one numerical and the two categorical variables, all right, with different groups. So if you remember, uh, we define a two-way ANOVA that is used to examine uh, the effect of two categorical independent variables. On a continuous dependent variables, two categorical independent variables, independent on a continuous dependent variables, allowing for the assessment of interaction effects between the factors. So there is always a way of interacting between those two uh, factors. Now, or more, so more factors. So it is used to estimate how the median of a quantitative or continuous variable changes according to the levels of the two categorical variables. Don't forget, uh, the other time we use a, a two-way ANOVA is based on mean, not median, all right? But in uh, this particular uh, ranking method, this aligned rank transform uses a median to rank, all right? When the assumptions for, non -par for parametric tests are evaluated, we, as we use a non-parametric equivalent of two-way ANOVA, which is called Align rank transformed. This is a uh, found in R. This allow for the analysis of interaction effect and main effect in the way that is robust to the evaluation of ANOVA assumptions. All right, so we need to first uh, install uh, our ART first by installing package of ART2. This is what you install. So when you install it, you call this library, you load this library. All right. So now once it's loaded, then you can now use a uh, uh, our data, data set. I'm going to use the data set we used before for two ANOVA. We are going to just assume that uh, the uh, assumption are violated in this case, okay? Just to, just to demonstrate the concept here. So we are going to use a tooth growth data set which comes along with our data set for demonstration. No need to, to load any library, okay? For data set, we assume this data set failed parameter assumption. So we just go ahead and uh, do our non parametric test on it. So just load the toothpaste data set, all right? Then I call it data. If you load it here, I assign it to data. Then you can glimpse it. You have a this continuous variable in length, all right? Uh, the last time I tried to demonstrate it, I was trying to show us uh, this here. If you check here very well, you understand what I'm talking about using um, tooth growth here. So last time I, I explained to us here the response. Uh, the response, which is the response now, right, uh, is the length of orthodontoblast cell, cells responsible for tooth growth in the cystic guinea pigs, right? Each animal receives one of the three doses, three dose levels of vitamin, it's vitamin C, we have 0 0.5, 1, and 3, so that's each dosis, three, we have three levels of doses, uh, this uh, in, gram, in, 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 in milligram per day, by one of two delivery methods, we have orange juice or ascorbic acid, okay, a form of vitamin C and coded as FISI. So we have FISI also. So that, so this is this is just uh, what we have. We have length, okay, numeric truth uh, length. We have uh, sub supplement, called supplement factor. This factor is supplement type. We have other FISI or OJ. Then we have dose, okay, this is numeric dose in the milligrams per day. So that is what we have as a so these are the two uh categorical variables we have here categorical variable and we have only one uh, numeric variable here which is a response variable or continuous variable so take note of that so this continuous variable now is called uh dependent variable okay this one dependent variable right so we just uh, try to run our categorical variable on it and, and see so that is what we did in ANOVA. so we are going to repeat the same thing here actually but now we are using a media medium a, 
uh, median to rank it and see what we get. So we have run our data. So the next thing we want to do is to, uh, we have glimpse now, we can also uh, see the uh, contingency table for this now. We have a, uh, uh, for, the, for the first, uh, uh, under, under this or each supplement, we have a uh, doses 0 0.5, 1, and 2. So under we have 10, 10 for each, okay, which is a balanced data set. This is a balanced uh, case, all right? So we can now convert our factor to, uh, if you check fairly well, you see that uh, this, uh, this one, only one is already factor, so this one is not factor. So you need to convert this one to factor, all right? But I just do the same time again afresh, okay? This already done. This one is not actually needed. Okay, so this you need this starting to be factored. So, but uh, I just did the same thing. You can see that uh, we draw, you can just run this, all right? So now we want to create a DJ plot to see uh, what we are talking about. Our so you can just run this. All right, so this is our DJ plot. We have supplement. We have uh, we have OJ and we have VC on our supplement. Okay, uh, orange juice and vitamin C. That what it means. Okay. So we have a dose, we have doses 0 0.5, 1, and 2. All right, so this is our length of the <laughs> peak. So you can see the tooth peak length. So this are this what you have as structure. You can see they, they are not the same apart from this uh, showing a uh, median here. All right, it's to, to, looking cl very close here. So now we can also look at the median here. If the, you can see here, median. See, we have uh, 12, we have 23, we have 26, we have 17, we have 16. 20, you can see the, the, there's a, this one here. Yeah. The median of this and this is the same for both uh, here, here, and here. So this one, you, this one you are seeing here, they have a equal median here. Only one of them. So OJ and FC. All right, OG and FC based on a two uh, dose. Okay, they have equal median. So that's the only thing that we see there. So apart from that, others one, other ones they are unique. Meanwhile, the RQ is not the same. Okay, the the IQ or rather it's not the same. You can see a difference. So you can see, you should be able to get a significant a significant result. So we can we can now go ahead and compute our ARC procedure now. Now we can just we can call it ARC model. Then we can we call the function ART. We pass our length. Then we pass our supplement and dose. We multiply because we want to find interaction. We can just say plus if you want to talk to plus to see, but we want to see the interaction between the two at the same time. So that's what we just do multiply. Okay. Then we run this line. All right. Our data is data. So let's see the result uh, by running the summary. So we conduct the just run this. Then we can we can summarize this or just print out this. Just print, All right? So look at what we have here. All right, we have analysis of variance of a line transform data. So table, uh, we have an over table. This type three test model no repeated measures. Okay, then we have response at length. So in this now we have a degree of freedom. Uh, we have f value. We have a p value. If I can see they are highly significant here for supplement, also for uh, those uh, interaction also is, is significant. 0 0.03 is less than 0 0.05, so it, that means there's interaction, all right. So when you look at it now, you can you can look at the result here. One one from by one we have what you call main effect. These are the main effects, okay. This and this are, are main effects, all right. Look at when you look at the main effects of each significance, main effect to understand the individual influence of each factor on the dependent variable, all right. So we want to look we are look at each factor on the the benefit of which is length, so which means they are the physical that there is an influence of the of the factors on the benefit of which is length, and also which I'm talking about supplement and dose now. Now interaction effect means a significant interaction effect indicates that the effect of one factor depends on the level of the other factor, which means sub, the supplement and dose are dependent on each other. That's a, that's interaction between them. All right. So which means uh, dose also of course of course depend depending on the supplements. All right. So uh we have or in, in the table we both the supplement and those are found to have significant effects on the response of the length of a odontoblast and and why the interaction between supplements and those exists also 
So this analysis helps identify which factors and interactions are influencing the response of the length. So that's what we just uh, find out now. And uh, that is that for the, uh, this just to replace ANOVA, two way, two, way, two way ANOVA, just in case your data is not meeting the assumptions, or you, you can just switch over to this and uh, you see this, this one is, is funny now. So it is very good to, uh, very easy to handle. So I think uh, that is that for now. I will see us again in the uh, next uh, uh, class. Thank you so much for enjoying this. So if you have not yet subscribed, you can go ahead and do that so that you can see more of the videos. Thank you.